What do you want from me? To be friends. We don't need to be friends. We're family. I think we're more conditioned to like uh, see a male in a more violent role and possibly like with this it's it's more unusual for a, a female like a, in particularly a young female to be at the center of carnage and twisted and twisted <laughs> twisted <laughs> relationships you know I've often wondered why it is we have children The I've come to is we want someone to get it right this time. Director Park said that there was mm. something about you, Matthew, that was sort of like Norman Bates, and you kind of look, look childish, <laughs> in, in but general. there's a kind of a layer of experience and evil underneath. And mm. How did it feel to be described like that? You, well, I, he didn't tell me. Well, that's, I only heard about this <laughs> the other day. Back. I think he came, might have kept that back, because otherwise you start thinking... I'm doing it a bit like Psycho, which actually I've still never seen. Really? Um, yeah, bizarrely. Anyway, no, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time outside with a boy. I didn't want to be seen. It was 8.30 when you came home. The Trovatore was playing on PBS. Yeah, when I came home, my uncle was watching TV, so I watched it with him. Can you tell me about working with director Park? He loves to draw every single frame pretty much he's got it in his head that's and I don't think that's necessarily an Eastern thing that's just his thing he was you know he's so prepared I've never worked with someone who's yeah no I've never worked so with anybody prepared. who's storyboarded the whole movie so he's like 90% yeah. of the film I've done and 10% is what the actors bring to it and you're like we're just 10% <laughs> I feel like for so much of it um we were like he would he would always explain to us what he was planning to do and mm. we'd sort of still be there like scratching our heads um and just kind of be like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then, like, we'd see the film and we're like, oh, my gosh, Oh, my God, amazing. that's the reason we did 19 takes. He's talked about this him being his Hitchcockian film. Mm -hmm. And I'm shocked you haven't seen Psycho for a start. But I haven't seen Shadow of <laughs> Doubt, I know. Oh, I'm not really a horror fan. I mean, I really am not. I mean, I know he's the... I mean, he himself th thinks of Hitchcock as the master, you know. Mm -hmm. He won't... People like it's like this, you know, you're the new... He won't have himself compared to him. He's like, yeah. how could... How could He's very humble. It's kind of wonderful, but mm. um, I should watch it. Yeah, I just don't like getting. I don't like people getting into my head. And I watched mm. Nightmare on Elm Street once, and I was like, "That's it. I never again." <laughs> you know, Freddy Krueger <laughs> scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Are you comparing oh, Nightmare on Elm Street to Hitchcock? Uh, no, no, you can't. I know, I know. But that's, that, those the, his films are even more disturbing because what you don't. I don't know. Anyway, let's not. That's a big conversation. Rather than it like necessarily be about purely bad blood, but or evil, whether evil was in the blood, although it definitely raises that mm, theme. Whether it's more that also evil is like contagious, mm. and it's the sort of thing where we don't really know what would have happened to India if she hadn't met Uncle Charlie or if he hadn't come into her life. But it was definitely once he had turned up, it was sort of this contagious, encouraged yeah. uh, thing. Thank <laughs> you.